GamesWeasel.com Review I've said it before and I'll say it again, games released to come out at the same time as movies are usually very bad indeed. Sometimes they work if they're inspired by the movie or don't have to come out to hit a movie deadline, but that's not the case with Planet 51 the game. In the game you play as the alien Lem and as the crashed astronaut Chuck, as you both work together to find his spaceship and get him home. What the game basically boils down to is a series of boring tasks and races in what appears to be a sandbox environment but actually is isn't. The game begins literally at a snail's pace as Lem rides around on a bike. Even the turbo doesn't help matters as he chases bullies and tracks down his mates around the town. Other tasks involve delivering papers and cutting the lawn. Two things that aren't much fun in real life and aren't any better if you look like a bogey either. Things do get a bit better though when you upgrade to cars. At least they move quicker but the controls aren't very responsive and the collision detection is ropey as well. The whole game has an unfinished feel about it. Lips don't sync to the dialogue what whatsoever in cutscenes, so it looks like a badly dubbed French animation or something, and loading screens pop up all the time. Surely this can't be because there's too much data to load, it's probably just because they couldn't be bothered to animate Lem or Chuck opening a door. This is the worst kind of movie license game, it's obviously been rushed out to cash in on the movie while spending the least amount of time or money on development just because it's supposed to be a game for kids. Well, kids do have standards too, and as I'm a big kid I'm giving Planet 51 the game a lame 3 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com